So Predator Poachers Toronto made their big announcement today that they're moving all their content over to Patreon. And I'm going to be honest, this shit is not going to fucking work. Um, I said this in my video yesterday that it would just be a lot better for them if they just made their own website. Of course, they're not going to wind up doing that because of a couple of different factors. One of them is money. Um... Now, don't get me wrong, I know that it takes, you know, a substantial amount of money to fund their operation as far as equipment, travel time, all that good stuff. So, I'm not just meant to saying that money isn't a factor, but I feel like it's more of a factor for some of them, rather than just, quote-unquote, doing it for the kids. Um, another thing is, it really comes down to a buffer zone about fucking lawsuits. Now... With YouTube, you know, if a bunch of people sat there and try to sue or whatever, you know, they can sit there and hide behind YouTube. They can hide behind um, Patreon and all these other different groups, you know, all these other different platforms. Now, if they made their own website, anything that they do, they're accountable for the whole fucking thing. And I don't know if that's something that they want. Um, I was on um, Predator Approachers Toronto's Instagram. And somebody else has said, you know, why don't you just make your own website? And he was like, oh, well, I'll do it someday. And I'm like, what do you mean someday? Just fucking do it tomorrow. Like, I don't understand. It just... <sighs> you know, they have all these different perks from $5 to $15. And I'm not going to lie. When I heard the $15 one, I kind of laughed a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's nice. It's a good extra, you know, like they can shout out your name. You can see all these vlogs. And he was like, well, you know, we could see vlogs like him sometimes just hanging out with Justin Payne, just in the mall, just talking or whatever. And I'm just like, bro, no offense, but no one, no one wants to watch that shit. <laughs> no one wants to watch that shit. Listen, we all love fucking Justin Payne and we love what you do. But let's be honest, how many people actually go out just to be watching fucking vlogs? Like no one watches fucking vlogs anymore. So I don't understand like... It's fucking dumb. It's, it's stupid. Um, let's be honest. A lot of these channels will be gone in probably about five to six months. You know, unfortunately, even with the good channels, you do have bad channels that will pull out some illegal, illegal shit. You know, there's certain things that you just can't do. Cassie Campbell, Alex, and hell, even my favorite, John Bravo have done so much illegal shit as far as, like, catching people and shit that it's just, like, it... Like, it it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, they are catching someone and they are stopping them from hurting a child. But also, yeah, YouTube is not playing. You know, TOS is a real fucking thing. And the cops sit there and look at that and be like, yo, listen, we get what you're doing, but you can't do half of that shit that you're doing as far as, like, locking people up in your house Prevent them from fucking escaping. Hell, even CP, Catcher, did that. You know, he blocked the men. He blocked his car in. And when the guy backed up, he got upset with he got upset with the fucking um, the creep. And don't get me wrong. This guy's a piece of shit. But what you did was fucking illegal. You cannot sit there and block people in. You know, this whole, you know, citizen's arrest shit is fucking flimsy at best. And there's just certain things you can't do. Um... Anxiety Wars also has a Patreon, um, you know, because he just got tired of his shit just getting taken down and he had to sit there and do so much editing. Now, granted, Toronto did sit there and say that they're going to keep some videos up just to expose these people, but it's going to be like heavily edited and shit. And I'm just like, I think it's a good idea. But I think they should just get their own fucking website just to make themselves and everyone else's lives a lot easier. Because let's be honest, who really is going to want to sit there and pay 5 to 15 fucking dollars to watch their catches? You know, because at the end of the day, that's literally what you're doing. You're charging people to watch your videos. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> just no. Um... Now, I don't want people to sit there and think that I don't support them because I've been watching Alex and Dap and everything like that since fucking practically day one. And even Alex, um, which some people probably consider the worst catcher between the racial jokes, homophobic jokes, and 
There's all the other shit that he's done. At the end of the day, as bad as he is, I will support him um, catching these fucking creeps because they are a hell of a lot worse than the shit that Alex has done and the shit that Alex has said. Um, but unfortunately, like I said yesterday, and I will sit there and keep reiterating this, I do not want YouTube to go as a whole. I don't want YouTube to go because they're getting hit with defamation character, um, defamation of character, um, over and over and over again. I don't want so much lawsuits to go through to the point where YouTube just becomes no more. Because at the end of the day, YouTube isn't just about like fucking predator catches. You know, it's about a lot of other different things. And yeah, I just don't want them to go as a whole. Now, yes, YouTube has put out far worse shit. Okay. They're not sitting there protecting pedophiles. And I know a lot of people keep sitting there saying that it's not about protecting pedophiles. It's about protecting their own ass. Point blank fucking period. They don't want to get caught with lawsuits. And I don't blame them. I mean, let's be honest. Most of these people that run YouTube, a lot of them do have families. They do have kids. They do have nieces, okay? I'm pretty sure they're looking at these videos and asking it to think, oh, well, this is just, this is just fucking terrible. Like, I know a lot of them are probably, are supporters of these, um, you know, catcher groups. But it's not about that. It's about the fucking laws. It's about violating TOS. And that's why a lot of these fucking channels are going to be going bye-bye. And as much as I fucking love these channels. Dab, CC Unit. Um, hell, even Alex. Um, Predator Poachers. I give it a good five, six months. November, their majority of them are going to be gone. Um... Now, I know they're going to sit there and try to do the same thing. They're going to sit there and get on the whole Patreon thing and charging people money to watch their catches and shit. And I guarantee you, you know, out of a hundred of their fucking audience, you may have seven of them that's going to probably pony up and pay for their fucking shit. And that's cool, you know, because they can still get the message out there and people can know who they are and maybe share their videos or whatever. And that's cool, but the end of the day, this whole fucking Patreon shit isn't going to really matter. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I'm not going to lie. I have a feeling that they're going to put a lot of shit on Patreon. And then Patreon's going to sit there and kick them off. Which will go back to my original statement of just getting your own fucking website. Okay? I'm not saying that they're saying this is easy. You know, it's not easy. It's not cheap. But, you know, if you're doing it, quote unquote, for the fucking kids, you're putting the time and the effort to sit there and do it. You know, you honestly think that Patreon's going to want to be getting hit with fucking lawsuits. No, they're going to sit there and take your shit off. And I've seen them take other people's, um, you know, content off. It's, it is what it is. You know, I don't like it, but you know, that's why I say get your own fucking website. But with that being said, let me know what your thoughts are about, you know, their quote unquote big announcement. Um, do you, do you do you care? Are you gonna sit there and join, or are you like me, where it's just like just get your own fucking website? You know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. I will catch you in the next video.